hey guys so in this video i'll show you how to create a google cloud kubernetes engine okay so before we start creating a cluster we need to make sure that we have the api enabled for this service so we'll search for apis and services and from here we'll go to libraries and once we are in libraries we'll search for google kubernetes okay and we'll click on this service and then if it's not enabled you'll get an option to enable it you will enable this service once this is done you can go back to your service which is kubernetes engine you can search for kubernetes engine like this and then you can say you have to create a cluster okay so you'll click click on create cluster okay now this is telling this is a new portal and all those things. You can skip this part. Give it a name. Let's say my project name is Learning to GKE. I'll give it like, like name like this. I'm creating a zone-based cluster. Like virtual machine would be created in zones, and my preferred zone is this, which is Central One A. Okay, and I can select the uh, Kubernetes master version. Okay, so I can click on these, and this will just create my cluster. Okay, I can just simply uh, click on cluster, like create cluster like this. Okay, and here we are. Our cluster getting deployed. Wait for some time, let it get deployed. I'll get back to you once this is deployed and I'll show you the various settings inside this cluster. Okay, so we are back like with our cluster right now. So you can click on this. This is your cluster once it is ready. This is what it will look like. Now, once your cluster is ready, you can see various settings over here. You can see the number of nodes what it created. So it created like a three node cluster for me and it has the uh, like memory allocated memory and available memory right now, over here right now okay you can change it if you want to have a different pool with a greater size of virtual machine created for you in back and you can change that you can also change the storage which is associated with this cluster so if you want more storage or you want a uh, like if you want an persistence volume then you can just simply go and edit and you can add that persistence volume over here okay so overall detail of my cluster is right over here okay so this is how my cluster would look like now just to show you we can also do one more thing which is like creating an cluster with an advanced way so what we can do is uh, we can fill in those details and you can browse these through these various options so you can try this out so these are various options so while creating the cluster if you want to change the node type so let's say i don't want e2 medium i want a larger size i can change it from here if i want to i'm going to Compute optimized or a memory optimized cluster. I can change it from here. I can change up security settings. Like if I want to use a different firewall, if I want to set up a different service account, I can do it from here. If I want to run some metadata or I want to run some script, okay, inside this uh, Kubernetes clusters, I can do that. I can put up labels over here. Okay, I can set up automation. Okay, I can set up different networks. So if I don't want it to be in, I don't want it to be in default VPC. I want to change it. You can change it. I can the security thing over here. I can change the encryption keys if I want to metadata part and I can turn on or turn off various features. Okay, so you can create an advanced cluster or you can, if you're a beginner, start with a basic cluster from here. Just create a cluster and then you can play around inside, inside it and then you can learn to use various options. So this is it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we will learn like how to create pods or services inside this cluster. Thank you.